God is good and every day that passes brings us a day closer to locking in the Terminus, the world of Pantheon, the Rise of the Fallen, and getting our dungeon grind on. If you follow my channel then you already know, I am foaming at the mouth to get in on Pantheon and explore and discover every inch of it. If you feel the same way, or if you're following Pantheon, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I consistently release new videos discussing and opinionate the various features and gameplay of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, as well as discuss other games while we wait for launch. Today though, I wanted to talk about the rewards of participation in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This will all be based upon Brad McQuaid's vision of what he wants Pantheon Rise of the Fallen to translate into. Typically, in MMOs, as of late, there is a gear progression that is akin to a carrot on a stick that kind of guides you to the in-game raids and trials. As you try to gain more power in your stats, you begin to gear grind and, and get your satisfaction from devouring content, usually as quickly as possible, to get that next piece on your way to the top. On your way there are usually blockades, if you will, that are suspiciously placed in your way to slow your progress and lengthen out the time span it will take you to get to the end goal. This could be something like a weekly progression, uh, learning to fight, etc, etc. What I'm trying to get at is this. You get your hit of dopamine in the brain for getting a step closer. And should you reach the goal and min-max your character, you get that big hit of dopamine. And your sense of accomplishment pulls you through. Or at least the developer hopes until the next content release with more gear, new fights, etc. And then you start over. I'm not here to tell you that there will not be a gear grind, or there will not be raids, or that there will not be men maxing for your tune. No way, there will be. It's going to happen. It's not even a bad thing in my opinion. It's highly addictive, both physically and mentally, and a lot of fun too. But, Brad McQuaid's vision, I think, is surpassing just simple endgame type gear grind. This satisfaction looks to be engraved into the core of the game, from low level to high level, and a basic foundation for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. So let's get to it. The rewards in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen are going to be better than we've experienced in a long time for several reasons. Before I get into each individual reward, I want you to check out this clip taken from the Hive Leader Heals the Devs video here on YouTube. You ready with heals on tanks? Slowing. Things get very quiet when we concentrate. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. healer whack and wall at the moment. I'm regenning some mana just because I don't want to run out. I don't know how much longer we got on the fight. Yep. That's the tough thing about this fight is we're outside of the enchanter's uh, mana replenishment range for that spell. Whoa! Ah, oh, oh, damn. She's close though. Keep her head up and we got it. Come on. Throwing a res. Dots. There Dots. you go. Nice. Woo. Woo. All right. Good job, guys. Nice. Oh, that tastes so sweet, Victory. If you yeah. if, <laughs> if you hadn't have died, I had you res. I was I casted that day, res. Here's here's the really exciting part. I have not itemized her yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. We, the, the, the sense of accomplishment is enough, right, Chris? Woo! Woo! It is. Especially after doing this. Assignment. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. That was, that was pretty I satisfying for loot, me. Man. <laughs> Hi, Brad. You're looking pretty good with those swords. Oh, he's running away. Okay. And that leads me to the most obvious of rewards. The sense of accomplishment for working together with fellow players. The hardships and the dangers of the world, of the mobs, of the fight, and making it through alive and pulling off, you know, and pulling it off after several wipes. The perseverance it took you and your group to not give up on it, but to learn each time and pull through. That just happened during this video 
And guys, the big thing here is, because I know you've experienced that type of thing and you can get that in almost any MMO in the market. But the thing here, the, the core, the neat of what I'm trying to tell you is that was not a raid. That was just a fight against a random named mob outside of that dungeon. And it was beautiful and you could hear the excitement in their voices from finishing it. They got that hit of dopamine from, from their brain, which comes from accomplishment. The devs hadn't even added in the drops, the loot, or the items, but they feel good that they rose to the challenge and they overcame it. That's fantastic. Number two will be the discovery of both the location, the mechanics, and the group gameplay needed to work together and get it accomplished. Discovery also feels great, and once discovered, you get that sense of conquering a goal and standing atop it like a warrior atop his defeated foe. Number three would be progression, both, both statistically, as in experience to further the level of your character, as well as personally through the actual knowledge in your brain experience for the inevitable next time and the confidence that comes with that number four and most importantly in my opinion the camaraderie that comes only through teamwork and group communication and group goals being conquered that budding friendship uh, kinship between you and your group, that satisfaction, that feeling of, man, that was a great group. I want to play with these guys some more. Let me add them to my friends list. And then, you know, group chatting, hey, man, let's get together again next time. We'll go further, or next time we'll try this, etc., etc. <clears throat> At the end of the day, all of these experiences all stem from the hardships you and your group encountered and defeated. It wasn't easy. Pantheon didn't hold your hand. They didn't tell you exactly how to do it. You didn't even have to look up a guide. You and your team learned and knew what went wrong, that went wrong that first and second time you tried, and you knew you had it in you to pull it off. And you didn't want to give in. You didn't want to give up. You wanted to push forward and get it done. Sometimes when faced with that type of gameplay, you forget the rewards, the loot. You forget about the carrot. And that is when true emergent fun takes place. That is what Pantheon is all about. That is what I want. That is what the MMO genre needs, and I cannot wait to dive into Terminus and Pantheon Rise of the Fallen and experience it with you guys in this persistent, wonderful world. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please throw me some support, a like, a comment, and if you want more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you next time. God bless and happy gaming.